Focal cortical dysplasias are malformations of the cortical development. Uh, I'm focusing on the type 2, which is the one that elicits more frequently drug-resistant epilepsy. Um, and in fact, uh, the, the most effective current treatment right now for it is resective, resective surgery, which is why uh, the major part of children who have uh, focal cortical dysplasia, no, the major part of children who undergo brain surgery is because they are being treated for these seizures of focal cortical dysplasia too. Um, the bad thing is that uh, this resective surgery is just effective in about 60% of cases and it's not always a viable option because it depends on where the malformation of the cortex is located in the brain. That is why we are working to uh, validate a gene therapy which make, would make a huge difference in this cohort of patients that don't have an available treatment right now. First of all, I, want, I need to introduce a bit the mouse model that, uh, that I have been using for that. Uh, it's a mouse model that is uh, based on mTOR hyperactivation in neuronal progenitors because it's, uh, it's the major cause uh, uh, of uh, focal cortical dysplasia type 2 in patients. And, um, and the gen gene therapy approach is the engineered potassium channel that has already been validated for temporal lobe epilepsy in the department. So I inter I'm introducing the mouse model because uh, apart from uh, the engineered potassium channel being an already validated therapy for another kind of epilepsy, it's important because uh, the uh, potassium voltage gated channel is then regulated uh, because of mTOR hyperactivation. And that has been seen in other types of, uh, of, uh, of disorders where mTOR is hyperactivated in the neurons. So it was uh, the, uh, a double reason to use this approach in this, uh, for this gene therapy. So uh, what we did was to, first of all, characterize uh, histologically and behaviorally the, the mouse model to validate it as reproducing the focal cortical dysplasia to main hallmarks. And that involved uh, the recording of the, uh, of the EEG with a video confirmation of the spontaneous seizures that the animals had throughout 15 days of consecutive recording for then injecting the gene therapy directly in the dysplastic focus, uh, which was encapsulated in an AAV9 viral vector. Uh, the virus was left uh, there and the animals were left unbothered for 15 days so that the virus could, be, uh, could uh, incubate and reproduce in this plastic focus and transduce cells for then uh, um, recording the animals for other 15 days to see uh, how well the gene therapy was managing to decrease the seizure frequency. Apart from the, from the seizure reduction, what we were also very interested in seeing is how this therapy addresses the comorbidities that the patients also have, because they are, uh, they are also uh, very burdensome in some cases. So uh, the mice were uh, tested for working memory um, as it is, a, it is a function that, uh, that is normally impaired when you have a, when you have a lesion in the, in the prefrontal cortex, as is the case of these mice, and uh, social other recognition, which is a test that will, uh, that, uh, that will let you see if there's autistic light traits in your animals, which is a, a very frequent characteristic of comorbidity in the focal cortical dysplasia to patients. So they were tested for this, uh, for this cognitive test before uh, they were injected with a therapy and in fact the animals that, had, uh, that uh, showed spontaneous seizures due to this, the dysplastic uh, focus, they showed an impairment in the both tests as we expected. So after the gene therapy injection, we could see that uh, the gene therapy achieves a 64% redu reduction of the seizures in the animals that have been injected with the EKC. And not only that, but also they were tested for the same tests um, uh, after the recording and they showed uh, no worsening on their cognition, which is a uh, very good news as the same cannot be said in some kind of uh, either resective surgery or some, uh, or some uh, drug treatments. So it's a very, very positive outcome and we are very excited about it.